the Enterprise Edition lets you use images in these formats, but the preferred images are JPEG, GIF, PNG, or Targa. The size of the image depends upon the final output. The larger the output, the larger the size. If you're going to letter size paper, then a width or height, whichever is larger, of 400 pixels should be used. At a print setting of 300 dpi, the product would occupy over an inch of space on the finished printout, which is large for a single product. If you're going to print to a larger size than the letter size, then you can size the product to 800 or 1000 pixels in size. The finished image size should be about 30k to 100k. Any image size greater than 500k could slow down the program and cause printer memory issues. If there are a lot of images that need resizing, we have a program called Batch Resize, which will take all images in a folder and make smaller copies of them to the 400 or 800 pixel size. The images must be cropped to the edges of the product. If the product is not rectangular, then the crop line goes to the edges of the product. If you don't crop the image, then the entire image is treated as the total measurement. In the photo on the left, the actual product is 3 inches wide and the image is cropped to the edges of the product. In the center image, the actual product is the same size, but the image is not cropped. When Shelf Logic sizes the uncropped images to 3 inches in the program, the background is included and the image will look like the one on the right. The photo on the right is displayed at the exact same width as the photo on the left, but the photo on the right, the actual product is shown smaller because it is not cropped. This is how cropped and uncropped images look like on the shelf of a planogram. The Enterprise Edition supports transparent backgrounds on all image types. Without a transparent background, non-rectangular images will be displayed within a white box as you see here. The products here all have transparent backgrounds so they can nest within one another. If the photos are turned off, you can see on the right side picture how the product boxes overlap one another. In order to create a transparent background, you can enter it in the product information screen or in the import spreadsheet. This image has a black background, so black is chosen as the transparent color in the product information screen. This product has a white background, so white is chosen as a transparent color in the product information screen. The transparent color can be entered into the import spreadsheet when you import your database. Column BO on the spreadsheet is a transparent color. You enter a Windows color into it. Enter 0 if the color is black or 16777215 if the color is white. The other colors are in between. There's a utility program on our website you can download that will give you Windows color based on the RGB model. Enter the red, green, and blue values and you'll get the Windows color you need to enter as the transparent color. The Enterprise Edition supports three-sided imaging, so you can enter images for the front, side, and top views of a product. So if you flip a product onto its side or top, there will be a photo image available for it. The photo image used for the front view must have an extension of dot .1. The side view has an extension of dot .2, and the top view has an extension of dot .3. When you save an image and give it an extension of dot .1, the image editor will append a file type like JPEG to it. We have a program you can download that will strip off the last four characters of each file in a folder to give you the correct extension.
When importing product data into the Enterprise Edition, it can automatically fill in the image name field for you. If you have your images in one folder and the images are named after one of the fields, you can do this. Enter the image path, the extension, and choose the field name used for the images.